Hi, my name is Paul Wheeler, and I work as an administrator for the Lubbock Independent School District. Uh, in the past, I've worked as a deaf ed teacher, I've worked as a counselor, and I worked as assistant principal at Coronado for a few years, and then went to central office as the executive director of special education. And so I thought I'd take just a little bit of time uh, to talk about the ARD committee meeting, uh, something you may be studying about, the admission, uh, review, and dismissal meeting of special ed students. And it's an, it's an annual occurrence. Um, those who are invited to that meeting would be the school administrator. Uh, you would have uh, a special ed diagnostician, a teacher for special ed, teacher general ed, any related services, OT, PT, uh, speech therapist. Um, also, the parent is a member of that committee, which is very, very critical. Um, the one key thing, the one, the most important aspect of an ARD meeting is to be prepared, to have the information before you go, not to, be, you know, try to uh, write things on the fly or, or to kind of ad lib. You need to know your students and you need to have uh, the information uh, well beforehand before you get to the ARD meeting. Uh, in that sense, being prepared, there's three areas of concern. One, student performance. You need to know how your student's performing. You need to know their strengths and their weaknesses. You need to not just get the information from your classroom uh, and how they're doing there, but you also need to get from other sources, uh, standardized testing. You need to ask your diagnostician uh, the information that they glean from their testing. Uh, you need to talk to the parents, how they're performing at home uh, and what concerns they may have. All of that information should be considered when developing goals and uh, performance uh, considerations uh, for, the, for the IEP that you're going to develop. Secondly is documentation. You, you need to make sure that the previous IEP, Individual Education Plan, was followed. And in that sense, that means in your class, any accommodations or modifications that, that you may need to be doing, any, which is a specialized program of instruction from you. And then in the general ed sense, well, is the general ed teachers making those modifications and accommodations for the students? Because if they, if they cannot document that they're doing it, then it didn't happen. Thirdly, parent communication. The parent is part of that ARD committee. You need to involve them in developing that individual education plan for their student. It is so important because you're going to, there's going to be two components. One is going to be academics and the other one is going to be behavioral. And so they are experts on their students. If they are not included, then that's, a, that, that's really a, a, a violation, a special ed violation. They are supposed to be included in that process and the best way to do for time's sake is to contact them before the ARD. Diagnosticians usually, uh, they'll pro or, or have about a 45 minute time period to do that ARD meeting. Anyway, those three things. Be prepared in knowing student performance, documentation, and communication with parents. I hope this helps, thanks.